Hey guys, as promised, uh, this is the review video on the Star Wars Episode 7 blaster pistol that we built, the uh, live fire based on the Sterling. Um, not a lot to, uh, to tell, uh, really. At the same time, yeah, I guess there is. Um, it's based on the uh, Sterling 9mm. Uh, we used two of the uh, still photos uh, that were, were released in the original trailer. We actually did this um, almost immediately after the, uh, the release of the, of the movie, uh, movie trailer. Um, so photos have emerged since then that, that clarified a lot of details and this is probably just going to wind up being the uh, you know version 1.0 build but um, you know show it off for what it is the um, you know the 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 stock in the in the uh, photos that we have to see are um, we thought that the modified um, butt plate was actually uh, part of the the body armor, the new body armor. So we didn't um, we didn't get that right exactly. Uh, the the milled slots are the spacing slightly off given the new pictures, but um, pretty close. Um, there's some additional uh, accoutrement on the on the receiver on the new photos and um, yeah there's there's additional stuff we left space to you know once we figured out the cooling fins construction to, to, to go in that direction um, you'll note on this that the ejection um, port is on the opposite side from where it usually is that's kind of a, a big deal um, on the uh, we on the on the the movie blaster from episode seven, we noticed that either it was a reflection or, um, you know, they'd, they'd reversed the, uh, the housing so that it could ride on the right hip as part of a, a you know, a holster setup. Uh, it turns out that it is in fact reversed in the, in the prop. So we, we did get that right, which is, I'm very glad for, cause it was a tremendous amount of work re-engineering uh, a Sterling to not only run semi-auto which has been done but to run semi-automatically with a completely custom bolt that um, you know feeds uh, backwards um, yeah it uh, fires from closed bolts uh, using striker assembly the uh, stock assembly is is permanently affixed forward um, it's it's you know meets meets the ATF specification regarding that. Um, it's very similar to the IO pistols. Um, tried to be as discreet as possible about that, so um, hence hence why it looks the way it does. But um, gonna have to cut it apart at some point and, and rebuild it. Although we might just build a complete scratch build on a second one. Now that we now that we've done this and and have gone through the hoops, it's. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you'll note the uh, magazine is uh, based on a Sten, not a Sterling. Um, cut it down to nine rounds. It, it typically feeds like six uh, reliably, but that was, you know, the the size that it uh, it resembled. We also made one that had a LED and battery pack, so that it had the the bars of light. Um, I don't know where we put it, or I'd, I'd have it. It uh, unfortunately, in the uh, the 30 hours that we took, you know, and I say 30 hours, I mean 30 hours straight. Uh, when, while we were building this, uh, we just sort of locked ourselves in the machine shop until it until we came out with it working. Um, might be geeks. It, it happens. It's been it's been a, we've 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 suffered that accusation before, but. Um, yeah, it came out pretty 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 nice. Uh, it took some tuning uh, for the 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 striker and the the sear engagement surfaces to be tuned to where it would run reliably. Um, there's still a few things like you'll note the uh, the retaining latch um, isn't in place. 
that was uh, that was my bad. I, I Sterling parts kits are uh, brazed together, so one of the easier ways, in theory, to break them apart is to heat them up with a cutting torch and um, just knock the solder loose. But I managed to slag all the latches that we had, so. Um, yeah, it didn't work out quite as well as we wanted to. Uh, the This part, this little swivel, needs to be taken off. Uh, if you're wondering why the white and the black are such a difference, uh, we sent the white parts out to be uh, Cerakoted um, first, which was, which was good because in that 30 hour build time we just didn't have time uh, once it, you know, for, to wait for anything else to come back uh, other than that. Uh, and then the other one, we just rattle canned um, all the black stuff black to to make it look right. And then the scope is just a little um, cheesy scope that disassembled it completely and polished it up so that it resembled the ones um, in the stills. And then you'll note the uh, the reprofiled rear sight. The uh, you know is tied into the little custom kind of hinky. Um, scope mount. Um, kind of wish I'd round cut the uh, the front end of that, but you know, like uh, radius it to, to better interface with the two. But you know, we we're on a deadline, and uh, this, is, this is just sort of how it wound up. Uh, gotta do, we got to do a second version though. Um, we can do it better now. We've done it once. Got the the internals figured out pretty solidly so we can we don't have to to guess and, and tune it um the mad scientist was the guy that uh you know figured that out and really did the the lion's share i, I was mostly in the uh, aesthetic and staring long times at the uh <laughs> at the movie stills but uh yeah pretty pretty cool um Hmm. I really need to get a third hand system that, that works better. Um, yeah, it uh, fires from the closed bolt, like I said, um, and it uses a uh, modified uh, sterling bolt assembly. Um, we actually used the original bolt, but uh, drilled it out. You know, created a firing pin striker assembly, um, and then in the process of, of reversing everything, you know, there's there's no way that this will accept the original bolt or anything like that. Um, very very much not uh, not capable of, of easy conversion to original spec. Um, you know, that was a, a significant concern. But uh, yeah, this is this is it. We did it. It works. I'll uh, I'll attach some some video of it firing to the end of this. Um, but yeah, looks a, it looks a little simplistic and a little crude, but it uh, it is a little simplistic and a little crude. This is the mechanical proof of concept. Um, you know, effectively a one and a half day build, um, which we accomplished locking ourselves into a machine shop for a weekend. Kind of wish I had uh, more footage of that, but unfortunately we don't have a, a camera dude to like follow us around and actually film anything. So, you know, you guys get to see what it looks like afterwards. You don't get to see the adventures of almost lighting ourselves on fire along the way, or uh, you know what it looks like running CNC, uh, running uh, Bridgeport machines and and. <laughs> dremeling with uh, sleep deprivation. It was uh, it was an adventure. Anyway, um, hope you hope you like this. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be doing a couple more of these uh, Star Wars guns. At least one more version of this. Um, and then I'm I'm actually gonna hopefully fingers crossed knock on wood. Um, I want to do Greedo's blaster real bad, and I've. Got a couple of our Rugers kicking around that I, I can throw at the cause. So that's uh, that's probably gonna be the next one. Um, anyway, hope you uh, hope you enjoyed this. Have a good one.